Hi, I'm Richard Martin, author of Brilliant Maneuvers, How to Use Military Wisdom to Win Business Battles. We've covered the first five chapters with short capsule summaries. Now chapter six, which I've called Planning, Friction, and the Fog of War. Now I'm sure you've heard this expression, the fog of war. Everybody uses it. What is the fog of war? Well, basically it consists of four key elements. The first one is friction. The first element is friction. What is friction? Friction is the confusion, the miscommunication, the misunderstanding, the fear, the strong emotions that lead to less than efficient and effective implementation of plans and intents and intentions. So friction is something that has to be taken into consideration. The next element of the fog of war is uncertainty. Now, when I say uncertainty, I mean irreducible uncertainty. And this is what governs risk and risk management. So whether it's war or business, there are certain things that you can acquire knowledge about. You can do research, you can do market research, you can do intelligence, reconnaissance, whatever you want to call it. But in the final analysis, some things you just can't predict. You might have a good idea beforehand and therefore come up with some contingency plans, but you're just never going to be sure about the final result. That's what uncertainty is, and it contributes strongly to the fog of war. The next one is just plain ignorance. And when I say ignorance, I mean lack of knowledge. Ignorance can be overcome by acquiring knowledge. So in a way, it's the converse of uncertainty, or uncertainty is what's left once you've done everything to minimize your ignorance or your lack of knowledge. But if you don't take those measures, you will have a lot of ignorance, you will have a lot of lack of knowledge, and that will create even more fog of war. And then the final element is the opponent. As we used to say in the military, no plan survives contact with the enemy. And also no plan stays intact after crossing the line of departure. This is because there's just too many things that can happen caused by friction, uncertainty, and ignorance. And then once you've crossed the line of departure, the enemy gets a vote also. And in business, your competitors also get to decide what the impact of your strategies are going to be. So there's a dynamic interplay here between both sides. And that's where the opponent gets to have an impact on your plans. And that contributes also to the fog of war. So those four elements create what's known as the fog of war. Friction, uncertainty, ignorance, and the opponent. So when you're doing your plans, you have to build plans that are sufficiently resilient and robust that they can take into consideration as many of these factors as possible in order to minimize friction and the fog of war. In the next capsule summary, we'll look at chapter seven on intelligence.